UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Pyongyang, North Korea. Introducing the challenger, Ghost Dog. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Doho Chong. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Time the UFC comes here, something special happens. UFC 192, obviously an epic title fight between you and Alexander Gustafson. UFC 166, one of the greatest fight cards of all time. Houston's got another one in store tonight. Yes, tonight you have a chance to make your own history. We saw Melendez versus Sanchez. Me and Gustafson put on a show there. Velasquez and Dos Santos put on a show there. Will you be remembered? like we have at the Toyota Center. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big shots being landed on both sides here. 
Choi's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Choi gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing down first with those nice outside legs. Misses with the left hook. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right hand on point. Oh, he might be out. He got him. Oh, big right hand. Knee to the body. Lands a big right hand there. but he's not up by much. Oh, he might be out. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back in range. Slips the left hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice leg kick land. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Misses with the right hand. Misses with that punch. Punch to the body is blocked. How about that shin? Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. All right, single collar tie now. Boy, tie plump. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired results. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice loop and punch. 20 seconds to go. Body land right under the elbow. And they set. Oh! 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 Gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly. So a strong five minutes down. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Some fighters shy away 
from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, oh, inside he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land. He's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Single collar tie. Great punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kick. And they separate. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Right hook to the head block. Just missed on the front kick there. Good stick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, huge hook. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Single collar tie now. Oh, big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. How good is that right hand? And they separate. Opponents compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Look at the turtle in that kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. He lands a big knee to the body. And there comes the separation now. Punch over the top. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut range. Oh, big knee! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, nice right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All collar time, and he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Choi shot is blocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Ten seconds to go. Nice punch lands over the top. Ten minutes in the books. Great job, Lashley. Hurt almost 
spit. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round, I want you to put the pressure on him. Get right in his face. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Nice punch there by Chor. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Visibly limping here. Let's go. Set the pace. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Checks the leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right hand punch to the twist. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Now connects with a right. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Back to the feet now. Oh, what a punch. about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. That was a thudding leg kick. Three minutes to go. And they separate. Caught that kick there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, what a punch. Establish that jab once again. Punch is blocked. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Just missed with the left there. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Troy's face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Troy gets back up again. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. the kick. 
Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Final seconds of round three. Just misses there with the left. That's six right right there. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighters. It really does test the metal of the guy oh. inside of the upper And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 12 seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout and still. Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen. A huge win for the Korean Superboy here tonight. And this is a kid who is just getting started.